In this video, we're going to use PHP to modularize our page and cut it into multiple pieces. So on each of our weather pages, the header and the navigation is identical. The footer is also identical. The only thing that changes is the stuff here in the middle. So we're going to use scissors and we're going to cut the top of our page off and put it in a separate file. Then we're going to chop the bottom of our page off and put it in a separate file. And then we're going to use PHP to glue those pieces back together on the fly. Here's how it works. I currently have a Greenville HTML page and an index HTML page. First thing I'm going to do is rename the extension from HTML to PHP. Here in my sandbox folder, I have a folder called 08 Homework, which is the same one that's uploaded to my sandbox on my website. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to change the extension HTML to PHP. Use. Now we can jump back to our text editor. We'll reopen both of those pages and the extension is now PHP in both cases. So let's scroll down on the index page. Everything is identical. Doc type, HTML, the title, links to my CSS, the head, the header is identical, the navigation is identical, all the way down to the start of my main tag, line 51. So I'm going to take all of that, I'm going to cut it, and then do File New. I'm going to create a new page, and I'm going to paste, and then I'll do File Save As. I'll name it underscore header. Using an underscore is not required, but it's common industry standard. And I'll put it in the same folder as my Greenville PHP and my index page. Click Save. Go back to index, go down to the bottom. Here's my closing main tag and my footer. Once again, those are identical on all pages. So I'm going to cut. Once again, File New. Edit Paste. File Save As and underscore footer. So now I have a header, PHP, and now I have a footer, PHP. Now at this point, I have cut my page up in pieces. I now need to glue it back together. On the first line, less than, question mark, PHP space, question mark, and close it. Now between these two lines, we can put any PHP statements we want. In this case, we're going to include, which means glue, quote, quote, semicolon. That's the end of one statement. And in between here, we put the path to our page. Now, because my index page is in the same folder as my header and footer, the path is very simple. It's underscore header dot php. Copy that. Go down to the bottom. Paste it. And this is, of course, footer. Save it. Now we will FTP all of these pages. Once they're up there, we can go back to our browser. If we did everything right, the page should appear exactly as it did before, except that it has a PHP extension. And if we view our page source, we can see that the information is glued back together and there's no evidence of any PHP. This represents the header, and it just continues on with what was the main, and then the footer is glued to the bottom. So the page is exactly what it was before. We go to Greenville, it's still an HTML page because we haven't fixed our nav yet. So let's do that next.
Take the statement from index.php header, copy it, go back to Greenville, use our scissors, whack off by deleting and then paste to glue that part back on. Back to index. This footer works. I'm going to copy it. Go back to Greenville. Remove this. Delete glue it back on, save. Upload all of our files, go back to our browser. Now we'll go to Greenville PHP and it's coming up like it's supposed to. Now that we've modified the page names, we need to go in and modify the navigation links. So we'll go to our header. The header currently contains the navigation which shows Franklin linking to index.html. Well, it's not HTML, it's PHP. And Greenville is not HTML, it is also PHP. So we save it. Notice we're making two changes to one header PHP page. Once we upload that and return to our browser and hit refresh, Our links to Franklin and Greenville, as shown in the bottom of my web page, are now PHP in both cases. So now I've fixed my navigation for two pages by making changes to one PHP file. That's the beauty of modularization. Now, next problem we have is up here. Both pages say My Weather Channel. Well, we want to customize that. So now we're going to go to the header, scroll up to the top, and there's the title that says My Weather Channel. Let's go back to our index page. Up here in the PHP statement, we're going to add a second statement. We'll create a new variable, starting with a dollar sign, and we'll call it page title equals quote, quote, semicolon space. So here's statement number one. Here's statement number two, both within a PHP start and end tag. So what is the name of the title? Well, the index page is Franklin. So there's the new title. Now, we're going to copy this variable. I'm going to go to our header, and instead of having a title that's my weather channel, we'll do a less than question mark PHP space question mark greater than. In between here, we'll type echo, left parenthesis, right parenthesis, semicolon. In between the parentheses, we'll put the name of that variable, which is p title or page title. Save it. Upload all of your files. Return to your browser. Here on the index page, Franklin, there's the title. It's now Franklin Weather page instead of the de facto page. Well, this change in the header applies to all pages on the site, so we're done. But we need to take this statement, which assigns the variable p title to Franklin Weather Page, copy it, go to Greenville, paste it, make sure and separate these with a space. And of course, this will be Greenville. Save it. Upload all your files. Click Greenville, it now says Greenville weather page. Franklin now says Franklin weather page.